Hi developers, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'd like to share with you a tool which I've used previously in my first company. And this tool is called Swifty Bevo. And this tool is the convenient and compliant Swift logging tool. All right, so basically this tool allows you to access your app logs in development as well as especially uh, on release with end-to-end -end encryption. So you know typically when we do development work, we know we have a couple of print statements, we do breakpoints and things like that. And the print statements can only be viewed on Xcode's console. Have you wondered whether it's possible to view all these print statements on release mode when your actual users are using it, all right? So basically this tool allows you to do that by providing some kind of a UI that allows you to view those uh, logs remotely, okay? So for example, sometimes when you make an API call and it returns an error, and then usually you just print out the localized description on the Xcode console. Have you wondered if you can do the same and view those errors real time uh, while your users are using it remotely? All right, so that's pretty much the point. And I want to show you uh, how this tool works. All right, so this tool is called Swifty Bevo. You, you can see that uh, 5.6K stars. It's been around for a couple of years, at least six, seven years, I believe, because I used that many years ago. And then <clears throat> what it does is that it provides you an interface, which I'm going to show you how you can actually integrate. So very similar to most of the other logging kind of frameworks that you, that you have out there, but this is uh, slightly different okay because it, uh, it logs to, uh, remotely okay and uh, it's able to classify uh, the logs with different severity like for example you have your verbose debug info warning error which I'm going to show you in this uh, short demonstration so I've downloaded the app I've actually just downloaded a fresh new copy so it looks kind of like that hi developers I want to introduce you to my brand new course that I've created this year in 2023 this is the iOS and Swift MVVM combined snap kit snapshot UI and unit test course all right so this is all the skills that you need to become a senior ios engineer and i've created this course to share all the knowledge that i've acquired for the past seven years so if you are a developer with two or three years of experience look no further because this course is going to supercharge your skills to land that senior developer role i will provide promo links in the video description so do check it out and then I have created also an Xcode project to show you how we can integrate and use it. Okay, so let's first run through the Xcode project. So very simple, it's just a three tab app. So let me just show it to you. It looks like that. Home, camera, and settings. Okay, so home, we just have a text view. And then camera, we have two buttons. And then settings, uh, basically we have a slide over here. All right, so basically all of these controls is able to emit some kind of values and we want to lock them inside uh, Swifty Bevo and view them on the fly when they are on release mode, okay? Or development mode for that matter. Okay, so let's get into the project. So I want to come over to, maybe let's open up Swifty Bevo first. And then when you launch the app, you should see something like this. So if you are totally brand new then you want to hit this create new app credentials so tapping on that it's going to generate some key for you so we have the app id app secret and encryption key so i'm just going to copy each and every of those and then come to the app delegate but obviously you have to uh, let me just remove this obviously you have to integrate the sdk first uh, and how do you do that? You can do that via Swift Package Manager. I think I already have that inside over here. So once you're done with that, this is how we add those app IDs and secrets and keys. Since I've generated a new one already, I'm just going to paste this in. And then let me just come back here, app secret, paste this in, and then the encryption key, just, uh, just copy to clipboard and paste this in. Okay, so I'm going to lock this to a file. You can lock this locally, okay, which uh, I'm creating another project separately for this. And you can lock them to the cloud, which is remotely, okay? So what, what's going to happen is that now I'm going to just hit the connect button. And now it's going to listen to the logs that will be emitting from my app. So obviously you see over here, if debug mode, then I'm going to lock this to the cloud. So obviously, you know, you can configure this uh, however way you want. Okay, so let's first come to the home view controller. All right, so very simple. Uh, when the home view controller is loaded, we do a log.info. So, you know, when you do log, you get all the different modes. You can do log.debug, log.error, log.info, uh, log log.warning, and verbose, okay? And it will appear inside over here based on those categories. So as you can see here, I've got log.info because this is not really critical. So it should belong to the info category. And then when the text field change, you know, when I type in things inside this text field, I'm going to do a warning log, okay? So log.warning, and then I say text field change with the new updated text, okay? So I'm going to just run this on the simulator and let you see how this works. 
So now the home screen has loaded. So I believe inside Swifty Bevo, notice that uh, home, home VC loaded. All right, that's pretty cool. I think the slider is, is uh, affecting because previously I was just uh, playing around with the slider. Okay, so now if I am to select all, and then right now inside the, uh, the VC, I'm going to be, hello, this is Kelvin from YouTube. You realize that you are seeing all these logs being shown up in this UI, which is pretty cool, don't you think? So this is helpful if you are an indie developer and you want to keep track of certain events that are happening or certain errors that are recurring, then this could be a good alternative to consider. Over here inside the camera, so let's, let's see what we have inside the camera over here. Okay, so inside the camera here, we have a counter and then every time the open camera button tap is being hit, uh, I increase the counter and I also lock the counter into this debug scope, okay? So let me just come to debug and then right now, if I am to hit the open camera, so let me just, just double tap on it multiple times. Tap, 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 tap. So you notice that it's being shown up here as well. So you can imagine that, you know, your real users are using this on release, on the App Store version, and then you can actually see, you know, what's really happening real time, which is pretty cool, right? So obviously, uh, we have the last one over here, which is settings over here. So settings, uh, what I did here, okay, I've done a couple of other things because I'm building another project on top of this. But if you see over here under the slider value, the change, when I slide this value, you know, I'm logging this warning to Swifty Beaver as well. So check it out. So inside warning, you should see that the slider is moving. So basically the same principles. I also want to share the project that I'm working on, which you may be interested. Let's assume that you created a build for your QA to test, okay? Or for yourself to test or for your product manager to test. And when errors happen, how do you usually debug them? It's quite difficult to do that because, you know, you have to ask them like, okay, how to reproduce this? What are the steps and things like that? However, I'm building this small little project whereby it's able to load all the logs inside your phone. So let me show it to you. So I'm going to just shake this. And then if you see over here, I'm going to open this table view controller that shows you all the logs that are being locked. Okay. So as you know, in App Delegate, I was actually able to lock this to a file. And therefore what I did was that I retrieved from the file and then I just uh, display all of the logs inside over here. So I'm thinking that maybe just maybe I might create a Udemy course for this. All right. So for example, uh, let's assume camera uh, gallery loaded. So under all you can do like gallery loaded. And then uh, what we can do is that let, let's assume we have this one over here. Okay. We can actually share this via airdrop. Okay. We can we can, we can share the logs via airdrop. So for example, if you have some kind of error that's really cryptic and then you want to really send it to some other teammates to debug, then you can actually come over here and hit the share button and then you can airdrop or send this email or whatsoever. And then you can see all the logs and you can do the debugging a lot easier. All right, guys, I hope that this is helpful. Uh, Swifty Vivo to check it out. Uh, I'm not an affiliate spokesperson. I don't get anything if you join them, but I just thought that this could be pretty cool. With that said, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.